Okay, so today we're doing uh, a shallow hand dig to get uh, this orange microduct over here into the ground and over to or close to the existing POE. We have the MPT tub right here and we're going to be trenching all along this. We're going to remove this, remove some pavers, and we're still trying to figure out the best path. It'll either come across this side or this side and then we're going to try to cut across and make it through here. As long as I can dig through and get the microduct in uh, at least six inches past here, then I think we should be good. If not, I'm going to try to hammer a PVC conduit across the sidewalk. My goal is to get up to right here. The existing lines are directly buried from here. So yeah, see, and I'll show you guys some of the process. Okay, so we've made some progress. Um, I'll be showing you the whole path in a second, but right now I have my... Uh, M18 hammer drill. I gotta make the hole to get the microduct through the uh, through here. It's not the easiest angle. This tub is pretty janky. Um, I'll go as low as possible without damaging anything. All right. Let's see if we can make that hole. Safety first. Success. I can see a microduct. Beautiful. Through there. And we have penetration. Okay, so I'll show you the, the rest of the path in a sec and uh, give you guys an update. Okay, so 90% of the path is trenched out. Um, just have it opened up a bit here. The ground was really rocky. And then with this, I used the trenching spade. This custom spade that I made weighs about uh, 70 pounds, 12 inch by 12 inch blade. And uh, we have it all trenched out here. We're gonna be coming kind of across here on a 45 and then through that narrow trench right there and then from here with the microduct we're going to come up with a 90 degree one and a quarter inch elbow standpipe into a nib so that's the plan for now and uh we're almost there okay so now that the microduct is in here i have to um strip back the foreskin as i like to call it and expose some tracer wire like there's some right here so for that, what I do is I go kind of see the tracer wire there and you cut right along it. Don't need much, about a foot. And then from there, you kind of score around. And then you peel back. There you go. So then that's the tracer wire. And then you can just cut that off right there. And then this gets pushed back. Doesn't need to come out that much. I cut this little string. And we'll just call this up. Like that. Perfect. So now that's ready to go. And uh, now we're just going to trench all this in. And cover it with dirt. And uh, do the sandpipe and stuff with that in. So we'll see you there. Okay, so we have it all buried up to here. We have the buried tape put in, conduit, layer of dirt, then the tape all across here. Here we have to go under these pavers, over and across. There is a directly buried copper line that we're just gonna feed back into our trench. We dug this down below the sidewalk and this uh, concrete pad here. And we're almost to the end where we're gonna put a 90 degree elbow and a standpipe. Yeah, some progress. Okay, so we're just about done. Still have to close this area up. Um, we're just kind of doing a test fit and we got the elbow standpipe put up. I'm gonna strain up the conduit, put another bracket down there and we got the nib in place. And uh, yeah, we got the drop pulled through. Just have to strip it, coil it in there and uh, backfill all of this. So. Overall, it was a pretty smooth run. 
but uh, yeah, we're almost done. Okay, so we're pretty much all done. Got everything back the way it was, all that filled in, the wood filled back. Everything's nice and finished here. And yeah, so the micro duct just comes out about an inch. We've got a couple inches of tracer wire in there. And uh, everything's nice and finished there. Going back, we can put all the pavers back. We tried to level them out. This one here was like low, so we lifted it up. This one's a little wobbly. We've been trying to get it back, but I think it's going to settle a little bit. The soft, the ground is very soft. So, yeah, we might need to remediate this and bring back some topsoil, depending on if the customer wants us to. But um, overall, everything's good. This garbage cover thing is back. It was a little of a pain to level it, but um, we got it back. All I have to do is coil, mount it in the tub. And connect it there but you guys have seen me do that before so yeah so this was a shallow dig and uh with the drop as well so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and um i know it wasn't that long of a video but yeah thanks for watching and um yeah see you next time